Hello and welcome to this introductory course, Developing Real-Time Applications with WebRTC by Packet Publishing. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Atul Pandir. I have been a full-stack developer for about eight years now. Being a full-stack developer, I got great opportunities to work on cutting-edge technologies on front-end, back-end, and database sites. I have been involved in developing projects in WebRTC since 2012. Coming to my academics, I have done my master's in computer management. WebRTC is increasingly becoming popular, and more people are talking about it. There are other guides on the web that introduces different parts of this project. However, they tend to focus on just a few layers on a specific problem. Our goal will be to teach you WebRTC both conceptually and practically. Not only how to program it, but also learning to identify which kind of problems could be related and solved by using WebRTC, a free and powerful technology. The goal of this course is to develop an end-to-end -end WebRTC application while understanding every bit of the technology. We will start from point zero and cover the basics and create an end-to-end -end WebRTC application. Hence, this course has been divided into five sections. In section one, we will be covering introduction of WebRTC, what WebRTC is, and how it differs from existing technologies like Flash or plugin-based solutions. We will also be setting out programming environment. In section two, we will be covering JavaScript API for WebRTC. We will be looking in detail about Get User Media API, Peer Connection Methods, and SDP protocol which are the backbone of WebRTC. In section three, we will discuss the different options we have for signaling to establish WebRTC sessions. We will also discuss why there is no mandatory signaling protocol. We will implement our own very simple signaling server in Node.js to establish the calls. This way, we can use JavaScript for both the client and the server side. All the elements coded in the previous versions will be glued to create a functional WebRTC application. Section four will give our application a nice shape as we will be initiating a WebRTC session, receive WebRTC session, and establish our first session and pass out the audio and video streams. Once we are done with the application, in section five, we will be exploring the developer's tools, which will help you improve and debug your application. The end goal of the course is to make you understand how WebRTC works by developing a WebRTC application. Only prerequisite for this course is to know HTML and JavaScript. So let's begin this journey together and start learning. I'll see you in the next video.